Okay. Seems I figured it out. Thank God. Uh, I hope everybody can hear me. Every yes, thank you, Mister. Thank you, Lee. I do appreciate your uh, your quips. Uh, yep. All right, just flying by the seat of my pants here, just a little bit. So don't even worry about it. Don't even trip, bro. We're gonna just get this figured out. All right, cool, 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 cool. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I like refreshed the page and closed it because I couldn't be in here at the same time that I was in Discord and I wanted to fix all the camera shit. And it looks like it decided to zoom back out on me. So it is what it is. But um, yeah. So here we are. It's it's about time. You're definitely right, Mr. Chris. But um, yeah, I don't know. I've been busy with work and polishing wire like a nutcase. So I think I think we should be good now, which is good. So yeah, we've uh, we've got some calipers. Uh, I'm not going to do any of the polishing, twisting wire because it's loud and not fun to watch. But basically, I have been using this little setup that I made here with like a Dremel and a swivel. And, you know, it's a lot faster and more efficient than using the drill. So that's what I've been doing. And uh, it's not fun. Burned my fingers a whole bunch and made a big old mess. There's dust everywhere. So I cleaned all these off. Uh, I have to put them through the ultrasonic again after I build them. But yeah, I'm not polishing my wire on here. You suck, Lee. Uh, yeah, but uh, I don't know. I, you want me to? You want me? You want to laugh real hard at all the setups that I have going right now? So you can do it all at once. Just real quick. Just real quick. Don't even worry about it. Just got seven setups. I don't know why what, or what's wrong with me, but uh, I've been using the Cogrita uh, on top of this Neo Go. From 67 mods. What did they change their name to? Stymie Vapor 67 mods. Yeah. And um, they changed it to. They changed. 67 mods changed their name. I always forget what it's called now. But uh, I love it. I did have to make a smaller airflow pin. So I basically screwed a set screw into the airflow hole after I drilled a millimeter hole through it. And. Uh, it was originally a sixteenth of an inch, so it's a third smaller, thirty-nine thousandths versus sixty-two. I like it a lot more now. I've got my little mouse along alien in here, triple thirty gauge, thirty-eight gauge, all canthal, two and a half millimeters, five wraps with the leads on the bottom, twelve milligram, uh here it is. TNT. I love this. It is a maple tobacco. It's from Innovape E-Liquids, same company that makes Heisenberg, if anyone's ever heard of that. Mm. Noisy Cricket V2 and the Hellvape. Dude, I almost got one of those Hellvape MDs. I kind of wish I did because it, it's an interesting idea. Seems like a lot of mouth along RTAs are going the way of, you know, airflow plates or, um, you know, a roulette style kind of thing like cross vape makes. And the cog is a great idea. I think it could have been a little smaller uh, airflow wise. In my opinion, this I still like more the, uh, the reload MTL on top of the Notion. Thank you, Stan. Because you can close the airflow completely off. And for mouth along, that's kind of how it should be. The smallest option shouldn't be too loose like it is for the uh, for the cog. But this is still... Uh, 
I don't know. I like that. I finally picked up a couple gear RTAs. Um, I really like this. I, I don't even know what I have in there. And uh, I got my buddy to get a Fatality from QP Designs sitting on the detonator, and he's in love with it. I put um, frame staples in there, I think. And he's like, dude, this is so much better than any sub tank that I've had. He's tried so many. He's like, getting the wrong coil heads. I'm like, dude, it's it's easy. You know what I mean? Like, I'll do it the first few times for you, show you how to do it. So I'm converting people away from the disposables and stuff like that at work because converting smokers is, is tough. <laughs> I'm trying, but, you know. Yeah, I miss my V2 cricket in parallel. It was awesome. But this is my daily banger. This is basically what I've been using lately. It just comes with me everywhere. And what else? What else? What else? The barrage with a god coil variation in here. I took the tip from the uh, RDA for vaping, and it, it, it's all knurled, and it matches. I think it matches really nicely on the top side with some some peach among worlds, Mr. Sifu Mustache, one of the one of the, the fellow cool kids from the uh, Grim Green Discord. Pretty damn good, I gotta say. It's uh, fifty watts. It's Three pieces of 30 gauge polished down to the size of 26 gauge, kind of like 24 gauge, because I just I just gave up. It just was like it's it was so much sanding. I, I I didn't anticipate that much more material having to be removed, but uh they're super springy, I gotta say. But it is, I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see. I'll definitely move this light a little bit. Let's see if that helps at all. There you go. Come on, focus for me. And eh, it's not gonna. But when I when I flip the camera down, I'll probably be able to see a little better, but not bad for a single coil. And if you guys don't have the barrage from uh Mr. Vaping with Thesis and Asmodus, highly recommended. Probably my favorite single coil RDA. Um of all time, I think. <sighs> and then this needs to be rewicked, but Twist mess is squared on the tear door. I love this thing. I don't even know what's in there, and I'm not going to vape it because it's dirty. And then I realized, like, a half hour ago, I accidentally dripped a different juice in here. <laughs> um, what the heck was I vaping? I mixed uh, Vulcan and Ben from Rescued, and it's a delicious strawberry kiwi guava lemonade, and then I accidentally dripped vengeance on there which is banana caramel candy which kind of completely different flavor profiles but it is what it is and it completely took over it doesn't taste like ben or ben or uh, vulcan at all anymore and that is everything that i'm vaping i'm gonna leave i guess this and this over here for now <laughs> but i don't know i don't i don't think that polished coils in theory vape any better but the way that ken explained it to me was because of like the sharp edge from polishing and the grooves between the twisted wire the juice should travel along it easier which does make sense but i don't see the need to polish almost any coils it's more for pictures i think but I haven't noticed a huge dramatic difference. You know what I mean? And I'm going to set up a set of these God coils along regular aliens and see the difference. I know that Mr. Mr. Grim Green already did that. So we'll see how that goes, but I will say this is really good, but this isn't a flavor. I vape. you know, this is as much of it as I vaped and most of it is just in the top side. So I haven't vaped a lot of it to know exactly how it tastes. Um, versus a regular coil, but I still really like it.
but yeah, I guess let's uh, let's get right down to it, shall we? I've got my <laughs> peach among worlds, and uh, you know, uh, it's it's got work in a couple hours, so I don't really think I should be drinking a lot of beer right now on the stream. And I've got my uh, my pairing here is a little Wawa peach iced tea and my extra long bendy straw because I'm a child. Mm. Mm. Ah, gotta stay hydrated. Gotta stay hydrated. All right. So hopefully I lined everything up perfectly and we'll see how this goes. Nice. So we're gonna go ahead and move this. Get a little more, a little more light over here, a little more light over here. And maybe just a little, whoa, see? You know what? Best laid plans in mice and men. I tried, I really did try here, but uh, it's probably about us. Um, oh yeah, ordering coils. There is a link on my Instagram bio, like on the top of the page. Uh, I think it's like tiny URL slash FBEO coils or something or other like that. And uh, that is the best way to do it. Or just DM me and I'll, you know, we'll figure it out. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Anything else I missed in chat? I'm trying real hard to keep up with chat because um, that's like a pet peeve of mine with some other YouTubers. Won't name any names. Not trying to be mean here. But, you know, it sucks when someone's live and they don't interact as much as you'd like. But, okay. So these have been cleaned. I've got enough set out here for, I think, 13 or 14 sets. So we're just going to go ahead. Yes. All right. So that's a set of three. I broke a lot of wire doing, doing these coils. I had to throw a lot of it away. So this is kind of what I've got left. Thankfully, I've got enough. For a whole bunch. We got my little coil jig here. It's the uh, the Wurbler. See, I knew I was gonna have to move this around. Nut. The Wurbler from uh, Just Paper, and then I mounted it on this block of wood. Made this is the Addy I test everything with. It's an old tugboat. Put some magnets in there and a little. Uh, what the heck is it called? The coil smarts, keeping the keeping like all the wires together, which is neat. So. This is my little rig here, and it works just fine. Okay. So let me move this right to there. This over here. Yeah, this is a this is a whole setup. Holy shit! Mr. Evan Sanders is here. So then we're gonna move my drill in the frame. Hopefully enough. If you guys want to be a better coil builder, you gotta slap an emptor sticker on your drill. I guarantee you, it will make your coils come out cleaner every time. So let's uh, I don't know. Let's 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 do it, huh? Choose an arbitrary piece here. These are how long? Seven inches, seven and a half, or eight? Eh, so yeah, seven and a half. So should be enough for, for two coils, I hope. Might as well just grab a longer one. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I've tried to keep, you know, I'd make one piece about three feet long, sand it down, polish it, all that cut it up into three pieces and I tried to keep them all together. This isn't like just piled and then separated. Like these are all, you know, these all these three originated from the same piece of wire. Well, four pieces of wire, but you know what I mean. Okay. 
All right, okay, cool. I know there's a way to zoom in here, um, but I don't know if I've uh, got it got it down or not. So we're gonna I'm just gonna scoot this back here, crotch cam. Nice, cool, cool, cool. There we go. How's that? Is that better? I hope that's better. So just you know, like any other set of aliens. I'm just going to take these three pieces and some scrap wire from the corner here. So all I really do for any set of coils that are aliens and stuff like that, uh, frame staples, anything that's got complicated cores more than two, I like to just wrap them together with a piece of wire and then stick them in the chuck. That always seems to help. So. Ah, yes, Logitech settings. All right, let's try that. Hopefully it doesn't like screw around with everything else going on. If this screws everything up, I'm going I'm to yell at you, Lee. I'm going to yell at you a whole lot. Hold on. It's hopefully opening. Aha. All right. We're good. It's fine if I yell at you. Well, that's good because that's what's going to happen. And you better be prepared for it, my son. All right, let's see. Scoot you over a little bit. Look at that. Semi professional looking. Wow, that's really not as nice looking as I like it, but that's okay. That's fine. Sort of, sort of focused, right? All right, cool, cool, cool. So here's what I've got I've got this piece here, three pieces, really. And got that wrapped up together, just basically bound together. If it would focus, that'd be super cool. Yeah. I'm just smushing together with the plies. Grab these real quick. Make my little 90 degree piece. Make the little uh, little trident at the end, whatever you want to call it. And then stick him right in the check there. Nice. Bring it down the other end here. Those all nice and evenly cut. Make sure I'm in here. All right, cool, 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 cool. And then, most important part, really, for making any sort of aliens, make sure the tension on these three pieces is all the same. Let me see. So I wrap maybe a half inch over the edge around this. And I give it a nice, nice, nice tight pull. And I've got a little spring here uh, to keep some tension on it too so it doesn't bounce around, which has really seemed to help a lot. And that is uh, something that Mr. M Turk told me he does and it's definitely definitely made a difference <laughs> I love you in a platonic way but don't worry 
And just because these are, I don't know, super crazy god coils and they're very springy, I am going to use the little, little, little smart guy here. It comes with the Wurbler. So it's got like a little trough in here. And then this threads together like that and then holds it really, really well. I've been using paper clips and split rings and, you know, all sorts of crap forever. And these just, these are the best. That's it. And these are molded. They're not 3D printed. So there's no like lines or anything on them. Just twist it on there. Make sure you can slide it around a little. And that's that. And then you're going to grab your decor, a little 26, 36 gauge. Well, I've got a lot. Quite, quite a bit, really, but I'm not going to need a whole bunch. I need about one and a half times the length. So I'm not gay, but it still feels good. Hey, man. Whatever, you know, whatever floats your boat, bud. I'm going to try and do these no stretch just because I don't have to get up and move as much. And we shall see how it goes. All right, everybody pray to Kent. I mean, uh, to God. I might employ one more of these real quick. Keep some good tension on here. Not a crazy amount of tension. It's just, you know, one less thing for me to screw up, move my hand and make a mistake. I don't really feel like doing that. How the hell would I move that? There we go. Okay, now we're good. Tension than that, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, that's better. All right, that's much better.
Cool. All right. Not bad. Not bad at all. Kind of first try Friday, am I right? Or Thursday? Shit, it's only Thursday? Man, stay hydrated, boys and girls. Wow, this triple bendy straw is kind of the best thing ever. So hopefully we've got at least six inches here. Yep. So I am going to cut this in half. And then we'll get all of the light sources. Oh. Wow, that was actually pretty perfect, huh? There you go. There they are. If you know, this would oh shit. Well, one of them's gone forever. Come on. Get this one out of here. I can manual focus if I freak around with it a little bit, but I guarantee you it's an alien coil <laughs> with 12 cores inside, technically. So I'm going to toss this in the ultrasonic. And then we're going to have to choose what RDA to put it in. Ha ha! Dude, I found it. Found it immediately. Hell yes. Mother trucker. Here, let's do it this way. No, probably this way makes a little more sense, huh? I don't know. This is really frustrating. I blame Lee. Well, all right. Is what it is. All right. Okay. We're gonna pop this back up. We're gonna bring this back out. Oh man, now everything is all screwed up. Lee, what the hell did you do, man? God, you suck. What have you done? What have you done? Why did I even jump in Discord to straighten my camera out? I mean, you're just gonna ruin everything. <laughs> oh shit. Can I mess around with anything here? Well, I can. Ready? Oh, whoa. Yeah, my camera's named Lee now. Just saying. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, but not really. It's your fault, and you know what you did was wrong. And I hope you apologize, but nothing you say will ever be able to, you know, make up for what you've done. All right, so um, I don't know. I've got a whole bunch of RDAs I can put this in, man. So like Kennedy, here's what we'll do. We'll go Kennedy 25. And you know what? I'll put them on my uh, very appropriate God coil plate. Where the hell... Where did I put that damn sponge? Too late now. Can't go looking for sponges right now. We got... Ooh, hello. That's the threaded one. That's why. That one's threaded. These are all threaded. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You ever, like, make something and forget how you did it? Here's what we're going to do. Okay. We're going to move all of this extremely delicate wire out of the way. And we're going to yell at Lee some more for screwing everything up. Here he is. Um, Socrates, Copernicus. I'm not really sure who this cat is, to be perfectly honest. But it's this big brass plate from... I don't even really remember where I got it. But what I did was uh, I drilled a whole whole bunch of holes in his face. There you go. We got Kennedy 25. Uh, 
OG recoil special super cool edition. Oh, this is so fun to do. This is so, so much fun to do. Play with all this autofocus BS. Little yak symbol on there. But yeah, so we got that. Come on, get in, get in there. Um, ba, 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 ba. Got a Goon 25, definitely a staple. We got the Recoil X, another one of my favorites. And I mean, I guess would only be right to grab the Twisted Messes 24 Pro Series, am I right? Oh, this isn't the Pro Series. Oh, and I definitely can't put it in here because I got some Staggertons that I don't want to take out. So I guess you put it in the actual Pro Series that has, what, a single... What is that? I think it's a single... Yeah, it's a single mohawk, so I, I feel absolutely no regret in taking this out because I really don't care for these. They're not fun to make, and I don't think that they're that great. All right, so we've got one single one singular vote for the goon. got the Axial Pro. Kind of want to do that. And we got the Dang. I mean, it has got to be something Twisted Messes related at this point. So maybe the Dang. Can you tell how much I like stainless RDAs? Oh, those aren't threaded. Alright, there you go. Oh, there's, there's your actions, everybody. Anybody watching, somebody, just just give me your thoughts here. What would you like? What do you think would be best for Mr. whatever his name is? I think this is actually the real Gerard Butler. If, we're, if I'm being honest, I'm pretty sure this is actually supposed to be Gerard Butler. So... Since I've literally never put anything... Oh, yeah, that's what I should do. I'm an idiot. There he is. Now we'll play with the autofocus. That did not make it much better, did it? <laughs> All right. Um, looks like they're going in the goon, because... No one else is voting, and this just has a simple set of coils in it anyway. And I can put it on my Kennedy squirter here, because I believe the squonk pin is in it. Yes, it is. Yep, these just have this just has some some real nice simple aliens in there i think 28 gauge 36 gauge if i had to guess which i do have to guess right now so yeah i'll put the autofocus back on let it try and do its job here so that's cool that's a fun looking setup I just cleaned this guy out the other day, too. I love this damn thing. I've had it for years now. It's insane. Oh, yeah, baby. That's right. Dust Squirter. Thank you, Steve Kennedy, for naming a Squonk Mod what every Squonk Mod could have been named in the past. And as far as a regulated mod goes... Yeah. 
0.21. It doesn't even seem possible. I don't know. Let's see. It's somehow 0.2. It's interesting. But hey, sorry guys, you got to come out. Got to make way for the future of vaping coils, I guess. Put them right on your nipple, bud. Nice and hot coils on your breast. Okay. Grab these. I'm going to go rinse these off in some hot, hot water. And we'll see where we go from there. Definitely gonna need that actually. All right, cool. So let us. I don't know. What's the best way I can do this? I think what I'm gonna do is move the whole camera so it can be closer without having to zoom it in to make it look like trash. So right now, kind of looks like trash. If I'm perfectly honest. Really wish the quality was a little bit better. And so much for spending money on a brand new webcam if it's just gonna, you know, be mean to me. So here's what we're gonna do. Oh boy. Yep. We are going right here. Zoop. Zoop you down. Zoop you down. Oh gosh. Yeah, this is fun to watch, I'm sure. All right, okay. Boop, boop, boop. Ah, I'm doing okay. Great is... I appreciate it, but... Respectfully disagree. Okay. Have a nice little white background. How about that? Well, sort of a white background. Most of a white background. There we go. Okay, now we got all sorts of light down here. We've got these. Oh, I know from wrapping the other one that they were just stupid springy, like unbelievably springy. And now that I've got these sitting here in my hand, I can take that away. And hopefully, if I figure out how to, you know, use my computer. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's them. That's them gag coils, baby. Well, as long as somebody learns something from this besides me, I guess that's good, right? <laughs> Uh, so yeah, they're super springy, and I'm going to wrap them on a three millimeter, but I know that they're going to spring back a lot, so I'm going to wrap them on a 2.5 first in anticipation of that happening. You're going to recoil. Great name there, Dwayne. I'm pretty interested to see what the resistance is going to be. Yeah, there you go. See, look at that. That actually kind of worked. So there's one. Oh, sorry. There's one. It's really tough to stay in frame. i got to give everybody who does YouTube a whole lot of credit. It's really interesting. 
to watch yourself and watch your hands and concentrate and talk and you know, do all the things at the same time. Now these might not, since they're the first set that I've made, look super duper pretty uh, compared to like the pictures Kent made. But look at that. Slides right on a three mil. And uh, I know I was talking to, what's his name, from Clouds and Coils. And he is going to sell these as sticks. And then he said he's going to make a video showing how to wrap them because they're so springy. And I figured, well, I can figure out how to do it and just... Wrap them smaller in anticipation of them getting bigger. You know, like, what's what's the issue? I got that. So that's what we're going to do, I think. And it, you know, proof of concept just worked for me now. So I see no reason why I can't do it that way. So, yes, goon posts are nice and flat with those clamps. So I'm going to end up cutting them like that. Here is your crash course on building a goon. Here, we're gonna do this now. Try and keep all these semi-separated. But here's your crash course on building a goon, all right? Is that good? Can't tell. Uh, I gotta turn it off to move it. There we go. All right, cool. So I take both the coils one at a time, open up the clamps, stick the coil through, hold it in there nice, and then clip the leads off. With hopefully some sharper flush cuts than the ones I've got in front of me. All right, and take the other one, and same thing. Make sure you get those little bits out of there. They will just make all sorts of problems for you later on. Now I'll put them on here together and I'll just make sure that all these are nice and clean at the ends. So they're not gonna stick through at all because it'll end up getting hung up on your cotton, which is kind of a pain. Cool, so now you can either um, either install them and have them kind of set off one one side or the other. Let's see. Come on, autofocus. What do you what do you what do you try out here? Try it a little bit. You can either have them set in there and kind of move one to one side and the other to the other, so the leads are next to each other. Um, but what I like to do is put the leads on top of each other center it the best that I can, which is a bit of challenge. And I like to do it the even more difficult way of putting the bottom lead underneath. No, the bottom lead on top of the top and top underneath the bottom of the opposite side. Kind of hard to explain, but I'll show you if I can once I loosen this up a little bit more. So if you put this in here, this bottom lead on this side. Okay, hold on. Autofocus clearly isn't doing its job here. Come on, Lee. Um, if you put this, you can imagine, all right, there's your leads poking out there. So if you put this coil in with this bottom lead, on top of this one, which 
would be easy. You know, you can put that on top, put this on top of that one. doesn't really make a big difference. But since your cotton's going to be coming out of here, that could just catch it, and it's kind of annoying. So I end up putting this lead underneath so it won't be, you know, interfering with the cotton. And there's no possible way that I'll be able to do this on camera. But we shall try, especially backwards. That one's going to go underneath. And this one's going to go on top to satisfy my OCD. Yep, sorry, I'm going to have to do it from the opposite side now. <laughs> so yeah, this is going in that way. This has got to go like that. This is going to go like that. All right. Right. Grab your tweezers. Make sure that's how you want it. But basically, they're going to look super crooked when you put them in. They're going to end up looking like that because of the way the leads are situated in there. But I assure you, it will all come to fruition. So here, I'll see if I can show you what I'm talking about, the way I have the leads stacked on each other there. See what I mean? So now the cotton's going to be coming out of here and going over top of that lead. And on this side, this coil's lead is not going to be interfering with your cotton coming through the coil. <clears throat> In theory. Sometimes it, you know, still happens. But looking good to me. I'm going to tighten this down. Nice and snug. Nothing crazy. Yep. And then you can just take your coiling rod and scoot them so they're nice and even and parallel. Like that. Ta da! So now, moment of truth. Let's go all the way down to, I don't know, 30 watts. A quick resistance check is telling me 0.15, which that sounds great actually, especially for a mech squonker. And now all I'm going to do is come over here, pulse and strum. I don't see any hot spots happening yet. So that's good. They are getting nice and colorful. Ooh, okay, that's the sweet spot for the focus, huh? Yes, it is. Ramp it up a little bit. 40, about 50 watts.
So since they're so springy, they're not going to stay like super close touching each other. And that's fine with me. I really don't care that much. Uh, one thing you can do is I'll take this little piece off. This little ceramic piece I've got here that is nice and hot. Stick them in there. Then I can heat it up and, you know, pinch them together a little bit better without deforming it. And by a little bit hot, I mean very hot. Just give me it back, please. God, that's hot. Cool. All right, so we're getting there. I'm gonna go back and tighten these down a little bit. Looking pretty good to me. Now I'm gonna take this off of here if I can without burning myself, giving myself a nice little brand. Because this thing doesn't like to recheck your resistance. Just one of those things. And it's a goon, so the posts always end up like that. Kind of no matter what you do, it seems. Even when I squared them off, somehow. So now there's no atomizer. Cool, cool, cool. Take you and pop you back on there. I wonder if the a squonk pin affects resistance very much. I'm sure it does, but I always wonder how much stainless steel versus like gold plated brass pin, you know? Point 0.14, so it actually stayed pretty much the same because these are spaced, so there's not a lot of hot spots happening. So the resistance really shouldn't be jumping around a whole lot. I did see that hot spot. I saw you, you little bastard. Yep. There we go. Now I can really pinch them together once they're nice and hot. Make them look a little bit better. But damn, I got to give Kent a lot of credit for the pictures he took. Just. Trying to manipulate these is not easy. Now I'm at 70 watts. I see you, Hotspot. You cannot hide from me. I like how I pinched these together just to try and intentionally space them apart now. But that... is looking like the best we're going to do there. I know, I was super off camera. I'm trying, man. Those YouTuber guys, they make this look so easy, you know? They are sizzling. So now, got to pick a liquid, and I think, holy crap, dude. 
So this bottle of Mr. Eric Vinny Land Vapor has been sitting next to my computer right by the exhaust fan. Um, holy crap, and it's hot. Uh, so has this bottle of Nico from uh, Rescued's Pack Leader line. So I guess we're going to go with this. But this isn't quite as hot. That one was like on fire. I literally thought, I don't know what I thought, but I knew something bad happened. We're going to go with the trusty cotton bacon prime because, you know, cotton bacon prime. Just, you know, best, easiest cotton that I like. Never have any issues with it. Works every time. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'll roll that out. The big old doobie. Scoot you right about there. Try to get my hands in here good. Rip this bad boy in half. Just like a doobie. <laughs> or, you know, not at all. Uh, but let's see if we can get a nice close up on the uh, like alien action that happens, which I think is one of the coolest damn things ever. So let's see if I can get this to stop reflecting off the top of the freaking posts. How can I do this? How about, how about we do this? All right. Stack you here, put you right there. We're gonna scoot this. There we go. All right, I think that is about the best I'm gonna be able to get it. Now, watch this, right? I'm gonna just put one little droplet of juice right here on this part of the coil, and you're gonna watch it spin in circles all the way through the whole coil. Now, that happens with regular aliens. I think even to a certain extent, other types of coils too, like fused Claptons, but happens really quick with aliens. And if Kent is right, it should be very apparent with these God coils. So let's, let's give it a go, huh? Did you see it? Can you see it happening? No, maybe slightly. I'm going to turn the power down some. Because it helps a lot more when they're warm. This is just going to turn to vapor, yeah. But you can watch it just spin all the way through the whole coil. You see it? You can see it going all the way. Well, I can see it going all the way through, all the way to this side of the coil. I think it's super neat. There we go. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but it's a thing. It's definitely a thing. And these are, dude, these are very tasty. Not going to lie. Pretty excited right now. So these are pretty well lined up. Cool. So now, toss some cotton in there and see what these actually, like, you know, vape like. really tough to do. I usually put my mob between my knees and do it that way. Not like that's weird or anything, right? Didn't sound weird when I said it. Felt weird. Feels good. So I do it. That's it. <laughs> Just, you know, feels good.
this is really tough to do. <laughs> it's so weird. It's like the hardest part of this whole video is just wicking this without dropping it off this little platform. There we go. It's a bit better. Uh, trusty dusty scissors. I don't know about those vape shears, man. I don't have a pair. I've got, I get this pair of Fiskar scissors that I've had for quite a while now. Um, sorry, I can't read. Uh, but I love these. They're five inch scissors, I think. That's the only way that they're like, you know, they have so many different kinds of scissors. They don't say they're like a specific thing for anything. They just say like five inch stainless steel or, uh, I thought they were titanium coated or something, but you know, I've cut through. 26 gauge, 28 gauge, like so much wire with these. And they are still razor damn sharp, but haven't at least a year, at least a year at this point. Now, I don't have to put too, too much cotton in here because it is going to be on a squonker. So that's about good right there. Shush you off there real quick. Okay, cool. We're back, back in frame. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, yeah, fluff it out a little bit. Anybody, uh, anybody here looking for a job as a fluffer? Is uh, I know someone hiring. Just, you know, putting it out there for a friend. It's not me. I don't need a fluffer for my pillows. I, yep, just for my pillows. Don't even worry about it. Don't even trip, bro. All right. That's just about enough fluffing for me. Now I can just tuck this. Hey. Tuck this in there. Just a little boop action right there cool 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 all right 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 take that out nice nice this is ironically the most difficult thing that i've done on video today it's just wicking this freaking rda so i've got plenty of room it's between the posts and the cotton there look at that so now i'm gonna toss it on to les squatter fill it up with some liquid i'll probably do that first mm -hmm. Yeah, man, uh, I really actually like all the flavors Rescued makes. Uh, the only one that I don't particularly care for is the Benthol, because I'm not a menthol vapor, or never was a menthol smoker. And uh, Vengeance, Ben, Vulcan, those are my three favorites. Uh, and then Velez is just too sweet for me, but it is really good, the black... Oh, I can't even remember what the hell it is. Kelly would kill me. Black berry cornbread pudding, something like that. Uh, it's just too sweet for me. But this Nico, this uh, this Snickerdoodle cookie, named after, technically named after Casey Pickles' dog, because Nico, as much as she loves Nick, is Casey's dog. The more you know. So we're gonna go ahead and install this in here, the super old fashioned type of squonk mod way. Sponge it right in there. Boosh, nice and, nice and easy, nice and simple. I've even added a little, uh, little cutout on the contact part here. So it's rounded now, because before it was just flat, it didn't make that great of a contact. Now you can actually see, a small little spark where the contact was being made. 
and I polished the crap out of the 510 because, you know, why not? Um, put a different O-ring in there because red O-rings are cool. Now, now, here we go. Are we ready? Ooh, yeah. Oh, my lord. He's squonking. Uh, let me get a battery. Put a little Samsung 40T. Samsung 40Ts are 30 amps, and Samsung 30Ts are 40 amps. But they really kind of screwed that up. Why did they do it that way? So, toss you in there. I haven't even pressed the fire button yet. All right, we're just we're just checking to see juice absorption to the coils right now. Get nice and saturated, like it's doing a pretty damn good, good job. I usually put juice on the top of the coils after I fill the bottle up because I don't want to have to fill the bottle again. But I'm just going for it this time. We'll do a little bit. Just do a teeny bit. Woohoo! Woohoo! Sound like Pegasus from Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged. I don't watch Yu-Gi-Oh! I just watched the Abridged series by Little Karibo. If you guys know what I'm talking about, please comment away about it because I just finished watching all of them 82 episodes and the only reason i haven't done that before is because i always end up starting over because god damn it the first few episodes are so damn funny that i just never kept going because at a certain point you know when i was younger when Yu-Gi-Oh was on tv i didn't watch all the way up to like anything past what like the battle city tournament here i am talking about Yu-Gi-Oh on youtube yeah, I, I didn't really watch a whole lot of it. So, like, you don't have to have watched it for it to be funny because it's just making fun of the whole series, plot, and everything. But it helps to, like, know what was actually going on when they poke fun at things. But I didn't watch a whole lot past a certain point. So it was like, I don't really get what's going on or what actually happened. So I don't get it. But I just did it anyway. I just kept watching, and I love it. But... All right, now, if I can figure this out, put the autofocus back on, watch it go crazy blurry because it doesn't know what to focus on somehow, even though that's your one job, autofocus. It's your one job. Let me go ahead, put this back over here. hey -oh. oh, no, i got to do this now. Just stare into my eyes while I adjust the height of my camera stand. Tripod time. Cool beans. All right, so that's about as good as it's going to get, I think. Yeah, all right. Boosh. Do that. I think we're going to go up. We're going to go plus one here. Yeah, all right, cool. That works. I'm happy with that. But yes. <sighs> I'm pretty excited, not gonna lie. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Point one four. Just hold the button forever, apparently. And it just keeps eating that juice. So, like I always do when I vape a goon, two holes open, one hole closed, sometimes kind of between one, it's kind of like one and a half. Excuse me, hold on. Let's see if I can, I can show you what I mean there. Like that. Not quite two, not quite one. Yes, rowdy F, bro. Pretty damn rowdy. So, you know what? We can throw the doors on here for good measure. 
drop a cap on there. I think we I think we just have to go two full holes first though. Okay, right about there. Love me an all black setup. Oh, Gustav is here. Bud, replay is gonna be your best friend. Watch me struggle through building some coils live. Yeah, it's too much uh it's too much air. Okay, now we've got to turn it turned down a little bit. Perfect. Maybe uh, slightly more open. Oh. All right, I'm going to do that thing where I just sit back here and uh, just vape. The first thing I'm going to do is... I'm just kidding. I don't have samba music. Or rumba music. Somebody referred to the samba music in the Grim Green vlog today as rumba music, and I can't stop thinking about it. For whatever reason, I'm like, rumba? It's like, yeah, same thing. I don't hear a difference. I'm like, hear a difference, but it's a different word you just made up. I'm thinking about the thing that, you know, a little autonomous vacuum cleaner. That's what you're thinking of. Roomba. Not a rumba. Not a samba. Rumba. <laughs> 7 a.m. there. Well, it is 1 a.m. here. Since I'm working evenings, I'm probably going to go back to sleep soon. Hell yeah. Well, I'm glad you stopped in to say hi. Vaping some, some god coils, dude. My only worry is that I didn't clean them enough. Um, but this is the set that I'm vaping, so I, I care less about myself than I do about anyone who's going to buy them. <laughs> I'm going to clean these so many more times. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> fresh cotton, fresh coils. Hasn't even really broken in yet, but Still, I think this is the best Nico has ever tasted to me. I think it's safe to say that. Um, but I am going to have to set up a set in two of the um, <clears throat> two of the uh, TM24s. And uh, same airflow, same eclipse cap, and then see what the difference is. Hold on. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, see what the difference is. But, um... Uh, yeah. Yeah, that would make so much more sense. But, you know what? Kent decided it's all nichrome, so here we are. God forsaken coils. God damn you, Kent. Let's see if we do a little cloud check and what do you think, huh? All right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go for it. Is this dry yet? Not even close. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, hey, they're, they're aliens in an atomizer on a mech mod. They're going to hit great. They're going to make a lot of vapor, but still. Very, very good flavor, I got to say. Pretty damn good. Pretty damn good, I must say. So, I think I have work in exactly one hour. Um, I'll definitely stick around for a few more minutes if you guys have any questions. Uh, I don't have the God Coils up on my, like, order form yet. Uh, but if you guys are in here, I 
offered them in the Discord for like Grim Green patrons and was shocked to get a dozen people asking me within an hour or two. So I was kind of taken aback at just the sheer volume that I need to make. So it's taken me a while to get all this perfect uh, the way I like it. And I'm at a 32 gauge, so I've, I've got to order more. And uh, then they'll be for sale to anyone else who wants them. I haven't really figured out a price yet. Um, but, you know, safe to say they'll be probably double what a regular set of my aliens go for, which is like 15 or 16 bucks. So 30, 35 around there, I think is fair. Uh, it's just, it's just a lot of work. It's just a lot of work. You know, that's just the time spent sanding is I don't mind doing the sanding. It's cathartic. It's nice. It's repetitious. Um, but twisting the wire to get it perfect is such a bitch. I can't even explain to you. Like, I straighten them all and even them out. I'll make one long, like 12 foot piece, cut it in four sections, evenly stretched, evenly twisted, put it all together. And then still a kink will just form right in the middle. I'm like, and then it's wasted. Like I can't use that piece or I could, but I won't, you know what I mean? So I wasted a whole bunch of wire figuring out a technique. I've kind of got it down now, but um, yeah, dude, no, they're, they're really good. I don't know if they're, for me, I don't know if it's worth it compared to just a regular set of aliens. Uh, my palette isn't that perceptive, I guess, is the best way to put it. I don't have such a discerning palette where I notice a huge difference in things like that. So I'll have to go back and forth and really see for myself. But excuse me. Um, yeah, no, they're good. I like them a lot for sure. So... I hate Kent. I hate Kent a whole lot right now for like coming up with this and making it a thing that everyone wants. <sighs> but he is twisted messes, you know? So what are you gonna do? It's Kent, dude. He he's he's a nut, dude. He makes up coil variations. He's one of like my favorite builders ever that I started like First RDA that I had, first authentic RDA I ever bought was a Twisted Messes. I have the OG one. I have a, a one of one rose gold cap prototype he sent me. Thank you so much for that, Kent. If you watch this, I know you won't, but it's okay. Um, I have a Twisted Messes squared. I have a second deck for that for squonking and another cap. I've got the Twisted Messes 24. The Pro Series, uh, he gave me all the Eclipse caps at a show one time because he's the man. I got the Axial Pro. I have the 30 millimeter, which he also sent me because he's the man because I couldn't find one. Uh, I got the Cubed. I mean, dude, he makes great RDAs. Like, I have a whole row in my Addy stand just Twisted Mess and stuff only. So there's definitely something to be said about that. And there's a few things that he, like, collaborated with like the sonnet rda that i still want to get just to like complete my collection you know what i mean but uh i don't know man he just he just makes good stuff i like the axial pro a whole lot the concept is great uh execution was really really good the machining is great it has that like kennedy snap the o-rings are perfect um and the airflow is just fantastic on it and it's so good for squonking too so that's really cool and it's the only thing that i'll use with series because i don't build series coils i mean i do not for me you know what i mean like i'll make series coils but oh you got the white one Ooh, so cool dude and the thing he makes so many damn colors like you can't have all of this stuff because you literally like you drive yourself nuts now Ashton's putting out all those cool colors that he's doing. Uh, yeah, man. Ashton's killing it. Just all over the vape game, which is awesome. And uh, you got to say, man, saw a, little, saw a little setup with the goon on there. Oh, 
But um, yeah, I guess that's about it. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to just, you know, send me a message on Instagram. Um, I don't know if you can message through YouTube. I guess you could. Uh, my email is listed on my Instagram too. I think it's it's all one word for British as only dot coils at gmail.com. And uh, yeah, I gotta go to work and I don't want to. <laughs> <coughs> Three RDAs, Asgard 30, a tsunami, which was great, uh, and the dead goat. Three solid RDAs, man. You don't like I just love RDAs. I don't know. I love building them. I love just ripping coils out, putting something new in there, playing around with coil heights and stuff like that. It's just, I love tinkering with stuff like that, you know? So there's no reason to have as many RDAs as I do. It's just grown into an insane collection, you know? So, but that being said, uh, I got to go change, got to go make a coffee, got to make a sandwich. And uh, stay super hydrated with my double bendy straw. Ah, yes. I definitely won't have a good day at work. Thank you for telling me to, but it's just not possible at UPS these days, especially when your supervisor just makes your life hell for reasons unknown to me but uh, i can't really think of anything else god coils are good definitely they're super good they're not fun to make but hey i've got i've got a lot of wire sitting in front of me i just need to wrap now and that's the easy part the hard part was just twisting it and sanding's no fun, but that's much easier than twisting it somehow. And uh, yeah, besides that, uh, I'm sold. Yeah, God coils are cool. Kent's a badass, and he makes up all crazy things like this. And well, you can't beat him, join him, I suppose. But yeah, that's it. That's all. Good night and good luck, or good morning and good luck. Depending on where you are in the world, thanks for tuning in, and I will see you guys when I see you guys. Peace.